first official portrait of King Charles III and Queen Consort Camilla has been released. There is no way back for Harry and Meghan, following the release of a new portrait, a royal expert has said. The first official photograph of King Charles III and Queen Consort Camilla has been released with the new Prince and Princess of Wales standing by their side in the picture. Daily Mail diary editor Richard Kay stated that the hint of a smile on the king's face in the picture shows that he is not daunted by what lies ahead of him. Mr Kay added that the fact that Harry and Meghan are not in the picture is a signal that they will never return to central royal life. Writing in the Daily Mail, Mr Kay said, It is not difficult to imagine how this picture will be viewed in sunny California, where the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are based. Might it deepen their feelings of exclusion and exile, or will it merely serve to remind them why they chose to break from the family in the first place? It surely can be no coincidence that the picture was taken when the couple were still in Britain and several days before they returned home to their children Archie and Lilibet. It must, therefore, be yet another signal that they will never again return to their central role in royal life. Looks like Prince William and Kate Middleton are potentially about to add yet another home to their growing list of properties. King Charles has earmarked Frogmore House for the new Prince and Princess of Wales, though it remains to be seen if they'll move in. The house was built in 1684 on the Windsor estate, and if it sounds familiar that might be because it was the location of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's wedding reception. And speaking of the Sussexes, Frogmore House is different from their home Frogmore Cottage, which is nearby and also on the Windsor Estate. Reports that while there's no info on what the Wales family would do with Frogmore House, its attraction may be too great to ignore. Meanwhile, the Daily Mail recently reported that there's a radical drive to overhaul the vast royal estate, and there was even some talk of moving William and Kate into Windsor Castle proper. As the outlet put it, Charles's wide-ranging plans include turning Balmoral into a museum to the Queen and moving the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge into Windsor Castle. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have achieved the most of their plans after quitting the royal jobs and settled down in Los Angeles in their newly bought mansion. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who met their royal relatives in September at the Queen's funeral, seem happy with their decisions and new life in California. The couple made several lucrative deals with streaming giants and other businesses to secure their future as financially independent individuals. Meghan and Harry do not seem to say sorry for any of their past actions as they believe they did nothing wrong. However, some of their critics and royal commentators think they should apologize to Kate Middleton and William for their comments about them in explosive chat with Oprah Winfrey. Some royal aides also think that Harry and Meghan crossed a line during their controversial interview. They also advise the couple to keep mum on untold stories about the royal family and their time with the Frim. But, Harry and Meghan won't stay quiet as they have made more deals to give voice and words to their emotions in upcoming podcast and memoir. However, some still believe that Harry and Meghan's one good step can help bridge the gap which occurred over the past few years with the firm which occurred over